who is ready to create some Dollar Tree DIYs. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Barbara, and I love to create budget-friendly home decor. So if that is something that you enjoy, I hope you'll click that subscribe button and the notification bell below this video so you will be reminded the next time I upload a brand new video. Today we're going to create some Dollar Tree Fall DIYs, so let's go ahead and get started on our first project. For this floral arrangement, I am using one of the glass jars from Dollar Tree. I will remove the lid and set that to the side. I don't need it for this project. And using the Waverly White Chalk Paint, I'm going to give this glass jar two coats, including the bottom and the top inside rim. Allow that to thoroughly dry, and I will also use some of this gorgeous scrapbook paper that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna cut out two of the truck images. You could cut out four of them and place one on each side, but I only wanted one on opposite side of the other. I cut that down as close to the image as possible. And once I have those cut out, I'm going to attach them to the glass jar using some matte Mod Podge. I'm just using a soft brush and putting a nice even layer of Mod Podge on there and press my picture down and smooth that out. And then I can go over it with another thin layer of Mod Podge to seal it in. Because I'm putting this on opposite sides, I did allow my Mod Podge to dry before I turned that over and added the second image. And I will add that the exact same way I did the first one. And this is absolutely gorgeous. To give it a little added extra something, I'm going to use some gingham ribbon that I purchased from Dollar Tree just to go around the top part of the rim of the jar to make this look more like a floral type vase rather than just a jar. And once I have my length of ribbon cut out, I'm only going to put a bit of glue at the bottom because I didn't want those ribs of the jar where you twist them on to show through the ribbon. So I'm just pulling it really tightly at the bottom and gluing it there. And I love the way it brings out that buffalo check on that door of the truck. I'm using some pieces of floral foam and I did not show that, but I did hot glue that down into the jar. I am using some filler bouquet from Dollar Tree, some cattails, some wheat, as well as those gorgeous sunflowers from Dollar Tree. I cut all of these off of the bundle and I am just placing the stems in there because I wanna make sure it looks nice and full from all sides so that you could actually sit this as a centerpiece and it would look really gorgeous no matter how you look at it. For the sunflowers, I do bend those over just a hair at the top so that when I push that down into the jar, it looks like it's flowing out of the jar. And I absolutely love how this floral arrangement turned out. You could put this on an end table or the center of your table. I just think it's gorgeous. You guys let me know what you think of project number one. And now we're gonna get started on project number two. Using one of the pumpkin wood decor hanging pieces from Dollar Tree, I did remove the tag and I give this two thin coats of the Waverly White chalk paint and I also included painting the outside rim of the pumpkin. Using this metal word thankful that you can pick up in a package from Dollar Tree, I originally painted it with the Waverly White chalk paint before I realized exactly what color I wanted to use so I could have skipped the white chalk paint part and actually just painted it with this color. This is Folk Art Chalk Paint in the color Cascade. The number is 6440 and it is gorgeous. So I could have just skipped the white chalk paint because the Cascade was chalk paint and therefore it would adhere to the metal. I'm using one of these truck wood pieces from Dollar Tree and they're very easy to pull apart. I only need one of those pieces and I'm gonna give that the exact same color that we painted the thankful word. That only took one coat and as well, I made sure I painted those outside edges. 
I took a pencil and drew the tire portion at the top, then used my black chalkboard craft paint to fill that in for the tires. Again, making sure that I got the rims so that no matter how you looked at it, the outside edges were painted. I created a hanger using some hemp rope and just tied a knot. And I'm also going to wrap the top stem of this pumpkin with that hemp rope. What I did was I started off with a little bit of hot glue at the bottom, and I'll wrap that around quite a few times and glue it occasionally. Once I get about three quarters of the way to the top, I'm gonna cut that and then I'm gonna start at the other end and work my way back down around the bottom of the stem. This is gonna wrap the hanger loop in, but also give it a nice finished thick look. I glued that and then cut my excess off and now it just looks finished and thicker. Using that same gorgeous Hobby Lobby scrapbook paper, I'm gonna cut out two of the pumpkin images. Again, trim those down as close as possible to the actual picture. And this is what's gonna go in the back of our truck. And I'm going to attach that to the sign using the Mod Podge. I just set the truck up there just to make sure that I get everything lined up and in place. I'll carefully remove that truck, hold my pumpkins in place, lift them up and apply my Mod Podge underneath. Then I will lift up the second one and do the same thing. Once I have them sealed from the bottom with the Mod Podge, I will go over the top of it to give it a nice even coat. And then once um, I have that in place, I can take my truck and use hot glue and attach that right back onto the sign, lining it up with the pumpkins and attach the thankful word at the top with some hot glue. Now I did go over the thankful word as well as the rest of the white part of the sign with the Mod Podge to seal everything in and to give it a cohesive sheen since I was using that matte Mod Podge. I think it is very gorgeous. It looks really, really beautiful with project number one. And I hope you guys enjoyed this project as well. For project number three, we're using this sign from Dollar Tree. I was really excited to find this sign. I have not seen this before. To remove the backing, it's just um, stapled in. So I used a screwdriver to get underneath the staples and then use my pliers to pry all of those out. The paper itself is not attached to the back of the sign, so you can just move that and set it to the side because we're actually going to use the backing of the sign to put our scrapbook paper on. I did sand down all of those holes where the staples were and removed the sticker. And because I had a little bit of a sheen on it, like a veneer feel, I went over the gather part with some sandpaper before I took this outside and used my Krylon Fusion all-in-one in the color matte white to paint this entire piece front and back. And it didn't adhere very well to the back, but that's okay, because we're gonna cover that up with the back of the sign. Using another gorgeous print scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby. Again, I'm gonna attach this to the cardboard backing with the Mod Podge. Set my print on there, and I'm actually gonna use this plaid roller Mod Podge tool that Plaid sent me. I'm gonna have this listed in my Amazon store if you're interested. This thing's pretty amazing. You just run over it and any kind of air bubbles or wrinkles, it will just roll that out nice and flat. After it dries, I take some sandpaper and go around the edges in one direction to get that excess paper off. I'm just going to attach mine to the back using hot glue. You could add some staples back in, but the hot glue held up really well for me. And I think this turned out very beautiful. I really do like this project and I hope you guys like it as well. So now we're gonna get started on our fourth and final project for today, which is this sign. We're gonna start off with one of Dollar Tree signs. This came from Easter. And once I remove that hanger, I'm going to measure it out just in case you don't have this particular sign. 
This sign measures nine and three eighths of an inch across and then 13 and three eighths of an inch from the top to the bottom. Once I removed that bunny, the paper for once actually came off really easily for me this time. I flipped it over and I filled those holes in with some spackling, let that dry and sanded it down nice and smooth. Now originally, I'm gonna go over this with one thin coat of my Waverly white chalk paint to give it a nice base coat. And then I'm taking the Waverly antique wax, going around all of the outside edges and then creating a frame using this wax. Just applying it with a brush, you can apply it um, as many coats as you want to make it as dark as you want, or you can actually wipe it off and make it a little lighter. This is just going to create a frame. You're gonna allow that to dry. And I've created this printable. This is a free printable that I have on my website, which I will have linked in my description box below. You can go over to my website, download this and print it out. It's on a regular um, piece of copy paper and you can print it from just a regular printer. And I'm going to apply this onto my sign using the Mod Podge. And again, I'm gonna use this nifty roller that Plaid sent me. This thing is just really awesome. I hard, hardly had any bubbles with that paper using the roller. And I went in one direction and then I went back and went in the opposite direction. Then I will go over this whole piece, including the wax with my Mod Podge to make sure everything looks nice and has the same sheen to it. Using some of these pop stickers from Dollar Tree and my black chalkboard craft paint, which I get from Dollar General, I'm gonna paint four of those to make them look like nail heads and apply one in each corner using some hot glue. I thought that this gave it just a nice added detail. Now you have a gorgeous sign that you can set up anywhere for your fall decor. I love how this project turned out and I hope you guys like it too. If you have a favorite, please let me know in the comment section down below which one is your favorite. I always like to know. I thank you so much for watching. I truly do appreciate each and every one of you. Please take care and I will see you guys next time.